All right guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be range testing and performance testing the cheapest e-bike kit. Uh, it's a 250 watt brush motor. Uh, I have a lithium ion battery with an unknown capacity. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go outside and uh, hit the bike trail and see how far we can go and how fast we can go. Uh, stay tuned. So uh, as a reminder, here's our bike. Uh, there is our motor with our chain drive setup and our little uh, speed controller and lithium ion battery. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, go back and check out the build and ride video on this. And then I also did an unboxing video on this. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a windy one and it's chilly, so uh, this should be a good test of the range. All right, here we are at the beginning of the bike trail. Um, we have a headwind gusting to 21 miles an hour um, and it's also 49 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little chilly, <laughs> but it should be a good range test. Um, I'm just gonna put on my uh, GPS app here and uh, see what kind of top speed we can get without pedaling out of this thing. All right, uh, I don't have all my uh, recording gear today, so we're gonna be going a little lo-fi. Um, but yeah, this is the app I'll be using. Um, just a simple free speed app, and that'll tell me my max speed, and then uh, show you. Basically, I'm just gonna be using the thumb throttle here and uh, see what kind of speed we can get up to. All right, so uh, attempt number two here. Apparently, I must zip the pockets. So, let's uh, see what we got here. Woo. Okay, hey, we're moving now. <laughs> oh, there's some gravel coming up. I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit here. Ooh, boy. <laughs> okay, give it a little boost to get up to speed. Really get tucked in here. Ooh, we're moving. This is against the wind, by the way. All right, let's see what that is. Whew. A little sketchy with one hand. <laughs> All right. Unzip the pocket here, see what we got on the the app. All right. Maximum speed going into the wind, 15.3 miles an hour. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, I definitely should have had that going to test my range. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to do math now. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Well, we'll keep cutting back uh, to when uh, fun stuff happens, but for now, still have full battery. Oh, the sun came out, and uh, it's looking pretty nice out here, so I decided to uh, turn the camera back on. But, uh, yeah, this bike uh, is doing just fine. Um, we still have three bars still on green. Um, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Um, I've done uh, about one and a half or two miles so far. So uh, yeah, I'll check back in when I have more news. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the cracks with this skinny little tire. All right, bit of a speed update. Going with the wind, we got 18 and a half miles per hour. So uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, I have a friend with a uh, hub motor that's 24 volts and uh, it's brushless, of course, and uh, his does 18 as well. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Not really getting any losses through the chain. Um, not measurable anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep on trekking along. Well, we're about uh, 
three miles out in the wind, uh, you can see we're flickering under throttle on that yellow. Off throttle, the green is pretty weak. You can notice a, a difference in power at this point, but uh, it's still going. I really need to adjust this front brake. Every time I use it, it just clicks. <laughs> but, whoo! That air is brisk today. It's riding along. <laughs> Burr! Whew. I finally made it to some trees, so I decided to uh, take a break from the wind for a moment. Um, we're now showing uh, even off throttle. We are on the orange LED. Uh, so we are showing about two thirds battery used or left, one third used. Um, I'm just going to check my speed app here. Um, let's see, it says we've gone 3.3 miles, so add a half mile onto that from when I started using the app. Um, and uh, yeah, max speed was 18 and a half still because we went, turned around, and went back into the wind. Uh, whew, this thing is, it's got longer legs than I expected, um, yeah, it, I'm, I'm gonna be out here for a while, I think. Um, one hell of a bike, though, for a hundred bucks, I think it was 98, everything all in. I don't know if you can beat it. It's certainly usable. Back on to the road. Gotta get down as low as possible for the aerodynamics. Try and get as much range as I can, despite being wide open throttle this whole time. Alright, um, update here. Uh, we're showing 4.5 miles. Uh, is how far we've gone and plus a half mile to when I started that so about five miles it's still showing on the orange light on the bike um, yeah it's it's still working so uh, I'm just gonna keep on rocking Well, there was no warning and the bike just cut out. It was just going just fine and then just click and it was done. Um, uh, yeah, and then I got no LEDs. We went from orange over here. So it goes red, orange, green. We went from orange to nothing. Um, so that was fun. It was showing red when I was on throttle, but off it was still orange. So I don't know. I wouldn't trust that too much. Um, let's check our temps. Ooh, battery's a little warm. BMS is a little warm. Not bad. Um, that speed controller, a little warm. Not Also not bad. Motor, a little warm. And by a little warm, I mean like I can feel some warmth with my hands, which have been in 50 degree weather at 20 mile an hour wind chill. So it just means like maybe 70 degrees. Yeah. I don't think it overheated. I think we just reached the end of what it could do. Okay, so we definitively know now, uh, going into the wind, when it's 50 degrees out, um, this battery and motor combo will go five miles distance plus a half a mile for when I started it. So five and a half miles. Not bad. Not bad. I can live with that. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't know exactly the math on the battery capacity there, but uh, so this is 250 watts. We went wide open for 
run time of 40-ish minutes. Yeah, well, I guess I did stop for filming. Who knows exactly, but uh, it wasn't 100 amp hours, <laughs> I'll tell you that. But uh, yeah, top speed still was 18 and a half. Overall, I'd say that was a success. Uh, that's still totally usable for a battery that costs like $26. Like, I don't think... I don't think you could beat that. That is an insane value. Uh, and for a lot of people, five miles one way, that's plenty to go riding on a bike. And this was, you know, it wasn't uphill, but it was against a 20 mile an hour headwind and a quite chilly temps. So, uh, you know, and that was a pretty tough test. In, in nicer circumstances, this might have been more like a six mile or seven mile range. Uh, but uh, yeah, now, uh, now I just get to bike all the way back. Good thing the pedals still work. And uh, I know I said this in uh, my build and ride video, but uh, this bike is so easy to pedal. Why did it ever have a freewheel on this motor? There's no reason for it. I'm pedaling just fine. I've been pedaling for a mile and like I'm not even winded from the drag of the motor. No reason to have a freewheel on this motor. Um, as I say, I'm not winded. I go for a breath. <laughs> I mean, it's still exercise, but... I mean, it's not really any different than pedaling any other bike. Um, but, I don't know. It's just a great day for a bike ride. Now I'm with the wind, so it's not so bad. Um, and, uh, yeah. Update. Um, the seat... Um, noticeably way worse when you have to pedal. Um, so that, I have that to look forward to uh, for the, the other four miles remaining of my journey here. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall I call this a, a big success. Uh, if you guys like uh, watching these types of videos, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and, uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see, uh, next time I come out with, uh, some more bike videos and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh yeah, don't forget that notification bell. <laughs>